Hey everybody, I know the video is dark, but that's because I want y'all to discuss, I want to discuss what I'm going to use as a thumbnail for this video. I noticed that something interesting and, yeah, excuse me, um, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Season 1, I don't know what episode, but they fight a turtle, and the name of the episode is Shellshock. Okay. Well, Shellshock looks extremely like Taka, or Toka from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles to The Secret of the Ooze. I'm wondering if they used the same suit to make both the... Excuse me. Both Taka from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles to the Secret of the Ooze and Shellshock from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Interesting thing is if you look up Shellshock and find YouTube videos of Shellshock, you will hear him when he's fighting the Power Rangers when he grows up, he quotes, I believe he quotes a little quote, and he says, those teenage mutants will see what a full-grown turtle looks like. Something of that nature. He quotes that in the video, which is funny because Shellshock is a smart turtle, and his head can pop down, and it can pull up, and he can fire, like, a cannonball. It's funny because Taka, Taka, <coughs> excuse me, Taka is a baby in TMNT 2, The Secret of the Ooze. If... If the continuity line goes something where they're connected, the two franchises and the movie, where the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Secret of the Ooze movie 2 happens before that episode of Shell Shock, or, 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 if... Rita's goons who create Shellshocked used a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 Secret of the Ooze 2 Taka action figure mold to create Shellshock because they also gave him like a little bat, baseball um a little cannon and they for some reason stuck a traffic light on in the clay which created shell shock so it would be interesting if we could create a connection there either they used a mold of a Taka action figure from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles to the movie, which is why it would have some of the personality. He's smarter, but he's not as smarter because of the transformation. Or, 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 and that's why he said, 
them teenage mutants will see how an all-grown turtle when he, you know, monster grows, looks like that might have a connection of reason why he says that. Because he was... Because he has the memories of the movie because he's an action figure of the movie. Don't ask me how the magic of monster creation and in Power Rangers works from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, but it could have a connection of that magnitude. Or, or, the Power Rangers and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles exist in the same universe, which we do know is true. There is a theory out there that the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from the next mutation are from a alternate timeline Turtles be from there's some kind of theory out there that says Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles the next mutation are an alternate timeline of the of the movie after Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles to The Secret of the Ooze. And we do know that in the Power Rangers continuity, after Mighty Morphin, uh, the Alien Rangers, and eventually they have Power Rangers in Space, and Power Rangers in Space has a crossover with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Next Mutation, which is a continuous continualization of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles to the next mutation if according to a theory a fan theory so that being said maybe there's a hint early in the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers series to a future crossover with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and maybe there's a hint that the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles had already existed in the in the Power Rangers universe before Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles the next mutation even came about that they had a plans all along to eventually create a turtle show and to eventually merge turtles and Power Rangers together. But these are just thoughts and theories on that. What do y'all think about Taka and Shellshock? Shellshock was the monster of a week. And Taka was a ongoing character in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Comment down what you believe. Um, look at the thumbnail. And, you know, you can see the resemblance of the two pictures on the thumbnail. And remember, God is good all the time. <coughs> Excuse me. All the time, God is good. Keep on gaming. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Uh, who's your favorite turtle? Who's your favorite Power Rangers? It's Morphin Time. And it's Turtle Time. And also, um, in the comics now, they have a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, Mighty Morphin Power Ranger crossover in the Boom Studios comics. And the turtles, um, I believe recently, have gotten Mighty Morphin Power ranger turtle coins so are they going to bring the teenage mutant ninja turtles with mighty morphin are they going to add them to the uh the what's it uh 
I don't even play anymore, but I used to play it. it was Power Rangers Shattered Grid or some kind of, it was Power Rangers, I think it was Shattered Grid or something. It was one of those Power Rangers um, game apps or whatever, and I don't even play anymore because it, it started just call it, it started just being where you want characters, they unlocked the they kept adding more characters and they kept making it where you kind of have to spend money to get these new characters. They unlocked some street fighter characters and then they unlocked, uh, legacy wars. That's what it was called. Legacy wars. They unlocked some street, they added street fighter characters. They should add mortal Kombat characters too, to be fair. Um, they also added, especially since they're in, can they're, Especially since Jason David Frank, the you know guy who played Tommy, the, the original Tommy, green, white, black, green, white, red, green dragon, white tiger, red turbo, and black dino, thunder. Rangers, he's OG, Ranger, <sighs> and Bat in the Sun, Bat in the Sun, Bat in the Sun has had videos, Super Power Beatdown videos, both own shares into Legacy Wars, and in the super powered beatdowns, I think the he's fought Mortal Kombat characters and Street Fighter characters. So they, I don't know if they're going to do it eventually, but they should add Mortal Kombat characters. And now that they're in cahoots with Boom Studios, who's making a crossover with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, they might be able to add to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Legacy Wars. But that's beside the point. Anyway, that's just some ramblings. Remember, God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. Keep on gaming. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Jesus loves you. Jesus is God. And, uh... <sighs> that's it. Uh, have a great, wonderful day. Later, guys and girls. And it's darkness. It's darkness, but Jesus is the light of the world.